Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my first official Filofax video. It's pretty much going to be a walkthrough of my setup for 2014. So my Filofax is a yellow original in personal size. So let's get started. All right. On the inside, I have this little monkey. I usually have my credit card in this slot here, but I, of course, took it out for the video. And I only use this pen loop. Um, I usually keep... Oh, not that one. I usually keep this thin friction in there when I'm out and about. <clears throat> These, This back pocket I use to put receipts in or cash. And I don't really use these because they're really thick and hard to get into. My tabs are set up with seven down the side. Each one has a clear fly leaf in front of it, which the tab is attached to. Then they have a little card and then the um, actual like cardstock. I don't have any of them labeled because I, I know what's in them, but the cards that are with them kind of show what that section is about. On the top, I have three top tabs. They each take me to important parts in the file effects. The sloth takes me to my current month. The panda takes me to my current week. And the pig takes me to where I am, where I am in my lists and notes. All of them have the, um, the holes slit so that they can easily be moved. So let's get started. I do put sticky notes on here, but not like a ton of them just pertinent notes. I have a little month card. This is my monthly section. I love polka dots, so there are a lot of polka dots in this planner. First thing I have in here is the 2014 year calendar. I have a little color code here that I use to just dot the dates. Of course, it's just the beginning of February, so there's not much in here, but if you look at 2013 there's a lot of different stuff highlighted in there so it makes it easy to look at the whole year at one time next is family birthday list and anniversaries this will have like uh, monthly goals or something written on it I just haven't written anything on it yet and then we go to Mr. Sloth here and he takes us to our current month it's February and as I said, this is a slit um, fly leaf, so it can move from month to month. And on it, I always keep a sticky note with what I want to get done that month. Um, it's kind of empty, but this is what January looked like. And then my next tab is weekly. I wanted to see those that piece of washi tape. So I have a little card that has the days of the week on it. And our little Mr. Panda here takes us to the current week. It is Monday, so there's like nothing written on here. Uh, the fly leaf, I keep little sticky tabs of different themes I might want to do. When I've done them, I take them off and I have a space for them in the back, which I'll show you later. I also put sticky notes on here sometimes. Uh, let's take a walk through of my weeks. Alright. Oh, also on the backs of most of the dividers, I keep a few sticky notes on there. So this is week one. I always have some kind of to-do list. It's either taped in like this one is or it's hole punched in. So I did winter, uh, woodland creatures, little journaling card. I separate the weekend and the week off with washi tape um, and then just have fun decorating really. <laughs> if I have a lot in a day, I'll put in a checklist. Otherwise, I'll just um, put it in however I want to. I use all friction in here, so friction pens and markers. The only time I do not use friction 
is when I'm writing on something that I don't have to worry about it bleeding through. The pen I prefer bleeds through the Filofax paper, so I only use it on like stuff like this or on like sticky notes where it doesn't matter. Uh, Sumiku Gurashi page. Llamas or alpacas or whatever you want to call them. Like one of my favorite things. Oh, to do list here. Uh, Oyasumi Bakura page. I just thought that was cute. This was last week. And then we're to this week. Um, on the following weeks, if I have an idea of what what theme I want, I'll move that sticky um, onto the page so it kind of gives me an idea. And then I keep a running list of like the next week's stuff um, that I'm going to do so I have track of it. I only keep about three months in here, otherwise it gets too bulky. And in the very back I keep a plain sheet of Filofax paper so that I can place it behind uh, my weeks and then I can see the line so that I make sure everything's straight. The next tab is notes and lists. It just says just a note. Has some sticky notes. And then the front of this has kind of pertinent information and then the back of it has random stuff. So I have lists I need to make, a project list, goals I want to do while I'm home in the States, decorating ideas, and then our pig is at my to-do list. So he moves a lot. If I'm shopping, then he's in front of the shopping list or that kind of thing. So he moves a quite a lot. But right now since I'm at the house, it's in front of the to-do list. And on the back I have a little post-it with like my call list on it that people I need to call. My shopping list. The back has stores. And then my food list. So I have the base foods that I always buy and then a sticky note for extra stuff. And then it kind of goes into random lists. I have a hobby list. A random info list. There's more written on here, but I covered it up. My favorite online shops. A travel wish list. Movies I want to watch. Music I want to check out. Last Christmas, what I bought everybody. Racks and swaps. So I put, if it was a rack or a swap, their name, the date, I mailed it, and then if they've received it. And then extra papers of all different sizes that I just pre-punched um, to put in here so I can have them ready to go when I need to make another list. A bunch of different papers. And then next is health. I won't go into huge detail about my medical history, but um, I have had um, some medical issues that I have to track and be aware of. So I have a little card that says that's what she said. It's my doctor's always telling me what to do. Uh, the first thing I have in here is my current medication. I didn't fill this in because they just changed it and I knew I was going to be filming this. So I just left it, but I list it all in here so that I know. Next is medical information. I've covered this part up. It just has like height and weight and med um, medications I'm allergic to and stuff like that, emergency contact. This sticky note isn't actually covering anything. Uh, I travel a lot overseas for work, so wherever I am, that emergency contact information gets written on here, and then if it changes, I can just pull this off, put a new one in, and have more information in there. The next one has um, past surgeries and procedures. Whenever I am somewhere else and I go to a doctor, they want to know, you know, the month and the year of everything. So I keep that there. And then my last ultrasound of blood work um, on little sticky tabs so I can change that out 
when those get updated. This was a horrendous uh, uh, diet thing I had to be on while I was sick and I kept it in here as motivation because it was really hard to do. Uh, the next page just had, I won't show it to you, but it has sticky notes of my last three blood works and my numbers so that I can keep track of them. And then this one just has notes. I, so when I go to the doctor, if I, I have something I want to talk to them about, or if I called them and they, they told me something, I just write that down so I keep a little list of that. And then I have a little bunny here that kind of sticks out, his ears stick out, so that I can find that page. And then on the other side of this are all my doctor's names and addresses and phone numbers, and I just have a little cupcake magnetic clip on there. The next section is info, I guess. So I have a little life documented card. And another post-it. So I have all my side tabs, like, and what they all are. I know what they are, but I don't know. I just wanted to make it. Uh, and this is where I put all of the, the themes. So once I've done it, it gets stuck in here. Sometimes I recycle ideas, and I'll do them again, so I could... I can pull this off and like and reuse it. This is a pull-out sheet um, that I actually just made, um, and I put lines on. It's I'm going to use it for ideas. I'm going to start a wreck this journal. Looks like this, and I wanted to write down all the ideas I had for all the different pages, so I put a bunch of lines on here, and I'll number it down and put my ideas on there. Um, list of foreign addresses I've had, uh, information about boxes that got lost in the mail. This, uh, it just looks like a red piece of paper with washi tape on it. But if you listen to Mr. Penguin, uh, he will tell you it's a little door. So this is important information. It's on a white piece of Filofax paper that I just cut a little bit shorter so that it'll fit in here. Um, and on under the sticky note, it has, you know, important stuff, passport number and bank and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to have it with me, but I didn't want anyone to know it was there. So once this is closed, you wouldn't even think that there was anything back there. Next is the world map. Um, and then I keep a, a list of all the countries I've visited in there. Time zones on the back comes in handy. Then all the file of fact sheets, I have them clipped together for the time being. Next is contacts. So I have a little, I thought numbers would be fitting, so a little number card. And another sticky. So cell phone numbers, while I'm in the States, I need to know my family's cell phone numbers. Once I leave, I don't need to know them anymore because I'm not gonna call their cell phones, but for the time being, that's important. And then, on these contact pages, I wanted it to be like a little rainbow. I can't get them. Ah, there we go. So I put washi tape on the edges of, of the papers and then matched the rings. So purple is purple and... Oh, look at that. <laughs> blue is blue. And the last tab is... Mis it's marked miscellaneous. But it's pretty much just washi tape. I might change this card. I don't know if I like it. I'm gonna think about it. So, in here are samples of all of my washi tapes. If you had seen my previous uh, video about my faux file effects, I had like a million pages of washi samples where it went all the way across the page and I only used one side of the paper. And it, it was ridiculous how many pages there were. So. I didn't want to add all that bulk to this, and I have I have a lot of washi. So I took the plain file effects paper and just drew a line down it, and then just put them um, back to back on here. I did this for three reasons. One, I think it's pretty, <laughs> and I like the way it looks, and it's interesting, and I like to flip through. Uh, second, it helps me to stop from buying duplicates. I can check and make sure if I ha to see if I have it or not. And third, it really helps me when I'm decorating my weeks um, to pick out tapes. So let's see, say I wanted to do um, Toromi theme and I had this 
this was my inspirations paper. I would hold it up against the tape and kind of pick out oh what colors work or what patterns do I like with this tape with this paper and I can flip through and pull everything out without having to rummage through my washi tape and maybe not see one that I really would have wanted to use. So I keep all of those in here. And then I have a credit card holder. I turned all the cards backwards. They're mostly um, doctor's cards, driver's license, health insurance, that kind of thing. And then I have one more fly leaf at the back. It's pretty much only in here so that the pages don't get stuck in the back. And I just stuck on some sticky notes on there. And the very back has this um, pocket. I don't really use it for anything. It had a notepad in here, but I took it out because of the bulk. So that's it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and thumbs up this video. Uh, before you leave a comment, check the description bar. Make sure your question wasn't already answered. And I'll see you next time.